This is a old Briggs and Stratton motor that came off of an old tiller. I'm fixing it for a friend. Um, it's a lot of rust and they kind of took it apart. And it's, you know, things are just not on where they're supposed to be. Um, it came to me like this. The tank has rust in the inside of it, a lot of it. And as you can see, it's oil all in here. I guess because it was laying down, oil poured out. It has a oil leak at the uh, the cover for the shaft. We're gonna fix all of them. We're gonna get this bad boy running. Okay, here's the front of it. Briggs and Stratton, five horsepower. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this fuel tank off and I'm gonna clean it out. And we're gonna soak it inside, the inside with white vinegar, let it sit overnight to break down all the rust that's in the inside of here. So I'm gonna clean it out with water first, with a spray nozzle, and then use soap to clean it out, get all that out of it, rinse that out, and then fill it up with vinegar, white distilled vinegar, and let it sit overnight. Um, the rest of the rust, we're not really concerned about, you know, as long as, as there's no rust inside the actual um, carburetor here, but we'll 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 see once we start taking that apart because I'm gonna clean the carburetor also. We're gonna get this thing run. All right, let's start by taking the tank off. To take the tank off, it's only two screws. Well, actually, it's three. It's Phillips head, one here, one there, and then one in here. So we're gonna take those off and um, just pull this boot right here off, pull it from up under this uh, brace and the whole tank should just come off. So let's do that first. Underneath the gas tank here is a 10 millimeter bolt. You need to take that loose too. There's also a spring right here that needs to be taken off and then the tank will just come off. So disconnect that spring also. All right, so I got the tank off. Um, I want you to see how much rust is inside this tank. I mean, you can see, there's just particles all inside this tank. But we're gonna try our best to get it cleaned out. It didn't rust through the tank, so it should be okay. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is take the water hose and you're gonna spray water in each hole to break up as much of that rust that's sitting in there as possible. Okay, now once you do that, you're gonna put some soap in it, put soap in it, You're gonna blast it again. Spray the water inside with the soap in it. And just keep spraying that in there until you get all of the um, soap out, okay? And then we're gonna go to the distilled vinegar portion. All right guys, so all I did was pour the white distilled vinegar inside the tank. I filled the tank all the way up and we're just gonna let that sit for probably a whole day. All right guys, as you can see, the vinegar is starting to eat away at the rust. See that? That's disgusting. That's the rust that's in the inside of this tank. So, 
Like I said, I'll let this sit for like a whole day. Let it really get it out and then I'll clean it out. But you can see that it's it's chewing that rust up real good. All right guys, so I got the motor laying down. Um, this right here, this right here is the carburetor. It basically just bolts on right here. It has two nuts or two screws to take it off. It bolts on like this. So it goes on like this. And basically, what I'm gonna do is clean it out as much as I can. Clean the jets out. This right here is a jet. We need to clean that out too. Um, let's see. I took the, uh, this technically is like the area where the float goes in a regular carburetor. It has a diaphragm that sits on it. Um, has a top that goes on it just like this. Like that. And it has four screws. Just like this. It's four of them that go on this take those off when you pull this out it's gonna be a diaphragm in there looks like this try to pull it out without tearing it go slow don't tear this okay I got that put off to the side and the top put off to the side so basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this best I can oh another thing when you when you pull the diaphragm out of here it's gonna be a spring that's right here and that spring sits in there see it's this washer kind of part and then the spring sits in here like this and you put the washer on it like that okay so make sure you keep up with this. Let's put that off to the side. Carberry cleaner. I'm spraying every hole. This one right here is clogged up. Shoots right at the bottom right here. Now what we're going to do is take this jet off here and I'll take this off. Alright, so we're going to take this jet here loose. Screw that out. That's the needle. Put that out to the side. I'm going to have to get a screwdriver to get this jet out. Okay, that's the jet. We need to clean that hole out, and then we need to clean out the inside of this hole. So, let's go ahead and do that first. Let me 
set that off to the side. Then this needle, I'll clean this off too. Clean the jet out. got it all cleaned up as best as we can and we're going to go ahead and start putting it back together so first thing you want to do is put the jet back in get your flathead and turn it back in You know, put your needle back in with your washer on it. You get your thirteen millimeter wrench, tighten it back down. back in and we're going to put this off to the side and we're going to start cleaning the motor all right so we're going to clean all this up like just clean it off um, I'm going to start by getting a little car cleaner kind of just spraying it down Kind of break it up just a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with the pressure washer. I'm just going to spray it all off real good. So I'm spraying it off. Um, make sure I'm coming up all the holes that may go into the engine. But I'm spraying it with um, awesome stuff you get from the uh, dollar store. It works really good. Spray the whole thing off. I'm just cleaning it up so that uh, you can see where the um, carburetor goes. I stuck a plastic bag in it so that water won't go down in there. Of course, a little is going to go in there, but not a whole bunch. And all I'm doing is just cleaning it. That should be good enough. Alright, so now that we got it all cleaned up, we're gonna hit it with some air, get some of this water out of here, okay? Alright, so 
so what we're gonna do now is we're going to take off this cover and fix the oil leak let out drain out some of this old oil and you got one two three four five six you got six screws and it's a uh, 11 11 millimeters so you're gonna take those loose here okay so we got all those off and what we're gonna have to do is probably pop this loose because it's been on it so long that um it's on it pretty hard so we're gonna have to take a pry bar or a screwdriver flathead screwdriver and pry it up to pop it loose so give me a second all right so we're gonna take this cap off and use this flathead just push up on it right here push up on it right here Kind of wiggle it back and forth. To get this thing off, I had to pop it loose first with the uh, flathead on the sides right here. I push up on it, it popped loose. But to actually get it off, I had to take a hammer and just keep hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. Back and forth in these two areas right here until I got it to come off. Um, I'm going to take some sandpaper and I'm going to sand this down real good. Well, we can see where the leaking's coming from. It's coming from here and there. These two spots, the um, gasket is not even right there. So what we're going to do is clean all of this gasket off and then clean this off and we're going to seal the motor back up. As you can see how dirty it is in there, that um, that oil has never been changed like ever. Maybe added to, but not, not ever changed. Um, let's see something. I'm just checking the alignment to make sure that it's aligned properly and it is you can see right here this dot right here and then it's a dot on the other side of this gear as long as those meet up everything's aligned properly all right guys so basically what we're going to do is i'm going to hit it with the sander and we're going to sand off well let me see i might can just pull it off Some of it will just pull off. Sometimes it's like been on that so long that it won't even do that. All right, now I'm gonna clean it up. That's clean. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up too. I may be able to pull some of this off in the can. So whatever you can pull off, pull it off. Let me get a razor blade. Alright, so we're gonna use the razor blade so we can get some of it off.
voy a coger el botón. Vale. I want you guys to see how black this oil is. Look at that. It's disgusting. What I'll do is just spray a little bit in here and clean this up. And the rest of that I'm gonna blow out with the air. All right, so I'm just gonna wipe some of this out. You don't want anything floating around in there. Okay, so that's clean. Now, what we're gonna do is pour the rest of this oil out into this pan. And all we're gonna do is just pour it down in there. And then we're gonna spray this out as we're doing it. Alright guys, so the cams actually, gear actually fell out, um, and what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to set it all back up, so see. you want to make sure you push these push rods back up in there, and then this was like all the way like right here. there and then this is actually this gear has actually got a key for it right here and it's right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in we're gonna put this one in first because it's keyed and we're gonna turn it then put this one in and then make sure that the dots are lining up they're not. So they're right there. Alright. So that's fine now. And everything's cleaned out. Now we're gonna just I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. Making sure that it's nothing like just in here. Like it's a piece of dirt in here. Got everything ready. Um, I'm gonna take this razor blade, kind of get these little edges right here that I couldn't get with the angle grinder.
okay so we got everything good and cleaned up now what we're gonna do is put the let's see put the governor gear back in which is this right here now we gotta make sure that this is like fixed because it's like leaning So this actually goes inside the, um, it actually goes on this right here. So you're going to hide that down like that, okay? That's how that goes. So when we put this back on, it has to butt up right up against this. This little flap right here. So we're going to go ahead and fix the leak. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start building a gasket around this. You're just gonna take a little bit of this gasket maker, put in your hand and just rub it across. This one too. I'm just putting a thin layer across it. That's it. All right, guys. So, like I said, I got both sides done. Got the gasket maker on it. You're going to have to put the gear on it like this and sit this motor straight up. You can't do this with the motor laying down. Now, to get this back on, I did grind around here a little bit because the edges were stopping me from pushing it on. So, now it's grinded around all the way around and now what I'm gonna do is just take it put it through this hole and slide it on Open this back up. Got it back up, and then I'm going to put these screws right back in there. All right, so I'm going to put the screws back in. Gonna start them first, and I'm gonna hit them with the 11 millimeter socket. You know, we're doing in a star motion. And so you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Guys, so we're gonna click these off to like 10 foot pounds. Let's go up a little bit. I'm gonna go to like 12.
All right, I think that's good enough. So we're gonna put it all on 12 foot pounds, all right? So the governor gear is put in, everything's cleaned out on the inside, the oil leak is fixed. Um, remember that you need to give this uh, gasket maker, this gasket maker right here, time to cure. After about three hours, um, you could probably start the motor then, but it takes 24 hours for it to cure. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and pour the vinegar out of the uh, gas tank and clean the gas tank up and see what we can do. You can see all that rust and all those chips of rust coming out of there. We're gonna clean this off, spray it out. going to clean this rust from around the flywheel um, just to so when it spins it arcs the um, the coil for the spark plug better Big problem is we don't we don't know if um, this coil works. It probably doesn't. Might have to get a new one, but we're gonna try it and see. All right, guys. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this thing up. Okay. I'm just gonna hit it with this. 
and knock all this rust off of it. Too. All right, so both of those are clean. I'm going to hit this part right here, too. clean too. Alright, then we're going to hit this part. I do that part because that's where it grounds at. Then it touches here, so I'm going to hit this too. That's good enough. All right, guys. So right here, I'm gonna put this. Well, it actually goes this way. I'm gonna put this on and put these screws back in it. Should be eight millimeter screws. And we're gonna let that sit there. All right, so let's take this little piece of paper. I'm gonna take this paper and sit it right between the flywheel and the um, coil. That's just enough room so that the coil's not touching. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to use a eight millimeter. That should be what that's it. What that is. Let's see. Yeah, eight millimeter and tighten it back down. Okay, that's back down. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the spark plug. It's a three-fourths. This one is. Yours may be something different. I'm gonna take it off. I just wanna see what it looks like. It's pretty good. The metal brush. I'm gonna hit this with the metal brush. I'm gonna hit this with the metal brush. Just to kind of give it a clean, cleaning. Okay, that's, well, hold on, let's see, let me hear. All right, so that's clean. And then we're gonna put this back in here. And I'm gonna tighten it down. All right, so. We're gonna go ahead. We already cleaned this uh, carburetor out. Spray the dirt out. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is, we're gonna build this back together. This diaphragm goes right over top of this. You go ahead and you put the spring in first. Now do you do that? You put that on. So you're gonna put this on. It goes this way. This little hole up here goes right over this. Actually, I'm sorry, it's the wrong way. It goes this way. Just like that. 
then spray a little air in this, clean this out. I already cleaned it, but we're gonna spray it again. So we're gonna put this right there and put this right over top of it, just like that. Then we're gonna take the screws. screws in. Go ahead and put them all in. Put this one in. Put this one in. Now, once you get all of those in, take your screwdriver, start tightening, tightening it down. Doing it in a star motion. Okay, so that's tight. Alright, so we're gonna put this carburetor on. <clears throat> Best way to do it is with the tank off. Okay, this hole right here is where this link is gonna go. So the first thing we're gonna do is connect that. Okay, that's on, right? <coughs> and we're gonna go ahead and put the screws through. One right here, bottom. Make sure we put this on. Make sure it's on the right way. Okay. Make sure it's still linked. And you're gonna push this right up against it. With your screwdriver. Go ahead and start feeding it through. bottom So we got that on nice and tight. Tighten it up real good. Then the one at the top too. Okay. Make sure it's tight. All right. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the gas tank on. This longer tube goes in this hole, so it goes this way. Yeah, butts up right against it. Then we're gonna put this bolt down here in the bottom. That's gonna hold it in place. And in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cord put it behind here and I'm gonna stick it between the gas tank right between the gas tank and tighten it down. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this tube in. 
It goes right in this hole right here. And it butts up right there. All right, then you're gonna put these um, three Phillips head back into the tank. And one goes here. Okay, on this side over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this clamp back on. Goes right here. And it holds this. Just like that. Okay. So that's holding that down. And we got the diaphragm back in on the side. <clears throat> okay. Next thing we need to do is put the spring on. So you're gonna put this spring on right here and it goes right between here. like that so you see how we got that in there exactly how it goes now you're gonna take this wire put this wire right here in between there and bolt it down all right so that's good too All right, so we got everything together and we're gonna go ahead and put filter on. Put that on. And we're gonna put the top on it. This goes up here. Okay, that's down. And all right, now we're gonna put the cover on. Slide that over the front. out the way a little bit. I'm gonna put this one bolt in up here. This one bolt. Right, it's an 11 millimeter. Got that on there. We got one more bolt. Let's see, it goes under the bottom. Oh, actually, it just goes here on the side. I'm gonna put that one in. That's 11 millimeter. Okay, I'm gonna sit this like this for a second. 
Cause I wanna, I wanna beat that with a hammer and get that to lay down. All right, got that down. Hey guys, so we got the motor put back together. And what we're gonna do is put some oil in it. Yeah, I need a little more. take this out because that's enough you can see that the oil is like right up at the tip which is good and we're going to put the top back on like that and then we're going to try to start it alright guys so we got the motor put together um, we got the new uh, seals or gaskets on um, we cleaned all the rust out of the motor and we just cleaned it up overall now I will tell you I was having a problem with it starting even though I got everything together come to find out one of the valves uh, the one on the right side closest to the carburetor was actually stuck um, I got some carburetor cleaner sprayed a lot in there got it loose and then after that Voila. And there we go. Got everything situated and she fired right up. All right, this is JOATD and I'm out.